Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Innisfree Simple Label Tinted Moisturizer. I decided to pick this up in my last haul because I've been really into tinted moisturizers lately. So now that there are more tinted moisturizers on the market that are not like a one color and done sort of thing like they used to be, I am so excited for that. <laughs> This type of coverage is one of the reasons that I try so many K-Beauty products. When the BB creams first came out in the Western market like 10 years ago or something, I was super excited because I didn't particularly like the foundations that were on offer at that time. And since then, I feel like the K-Beauty like, bases have leaned more towards like cushions and like dewy foundations and less towards BB creams which I was fine with um, because they had a bigger shade range, <laughs> which suited me very well. Um, but now, yeah, a little bit of the lighter coverage is coming back and I'm so excited. So for this review, as usual, it's gonna be broken down into a few different things. We are going to have the product description, packaging, swatches and application, longevity, and the final thoughts. So if you'd like to skip to any of those parts, please do so now. So for this one, it has a very simple product description. It says, a tinted moisturizer with soft and hydrating formula that is less irritant, makes it suitable for daily use. A tone correcting base mild for the skin and strong against UV rays. This mineral sunscreen with protective, with powerful sun protection of SPF 30, PA++++, is mild for the skin and corrects skin tones for a natural makeup look. The vegan formula that is hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested is mild for the skin and contains juju hydrangea leaf extracts that soothe the skin and protect it from external irritation. Obtained an EVE vegan certification, which I actually honestly don't know what that means. I'm going to go look it up now. In order for a product to be approved for vegan certification, it must not contain meat, fish, fowl, animal byproducts, eggs or egg products, milk or milk products, honey or honeybee products, insects or products from insects such as silk dyes or sugar filtered with bone char or be processed with any animal products or byproducts. Products must not have involved animal testing of ingredients or finished products by the supplier, producer, manufacturer or independent party for any type of research whatsoever to include environmental safety, feed or nutritional nutrition tip or nutrition trials, toxicity testing or animal tests or trials as required by the law to include third party testing and may not be tested in the future. So by that I can only assume that this is not tested on animals which is great. But to be clear and honest, I don't know enough about the certification to assess that this is 100% animal, uh, animal free, cruelty free and um, not tested on animals. From what I read, I can only assume, but you can never assume everything. Anyway, back to the review. So under the packaging, this is a pretty small bottle. This one is 40 milliliters and it comes in a nice squeezy plastic bottle that like its name is just simple. It has a little nozzle top, no pump or anything like that, but the product is thick enough that it doesn't need a pump. I think that it's not very necessary. I got the shade one, which is fairly light in color, but it's more on the neutral tone. So it's not quite as yellow as I would like it to be for my own skin tone. Okay, so this is my face freshly washed and cleaned. I have a few little blemishes. I've got like a little spot here, and then I've got a really nice cystic pimple there. And I'm gonna be applying this foundation using the Zoeva. 104 buffer brush. It is a halfway through the day, so I'm gonna be doing the wear test later. And if you're wondering why there are so many pauses in this video, apparently there's like a rush hour traffic outside. Um, I have my room right next to a roundabout. <laughs> it's in like a, you know, quiet sort of neighborhood. It's not on the main roads, but um, apparently today there are just a huge amount of cars coming through. So be that as it may, I just kind of stop when the cars go past, otherwise you can actually hear the traffic in the recordings, which is a pain. Anyway, this is really easy to apply. It literally feels like a moisturizer, but it has like a very small amount of color. This is shade number one. And even though on the website it looks like it is fairly yellow toned, I would say that it's pretty uh, neutral. Not really like pink toned, but definitely too neutral for my skin to be worn alone. And this is how it looks with half of my face done versus no tinted moisturizer. You can see it's very moisturized looking, which is great because it's a tinted moisturizer. But even like here, it doesn't quite match my neck. And I get a lot of comments being like, you're not even that yellow toned, your face is not yellow. And I'm like, no, my face has a lot of redness. <laughs> Funny that. Um, it's actually the rest of my body I'm trying to match it to. Like I'm trying to match the foundation to my body, not to the skin on my face. Because the skin on my face, it has a lot of redness. It has a lot of scarring, um, purplish scars as well. So if I match the foundation to my face color, my face will look like a different color to the rest of my body. 
that makes sense to everybody else, right? But that is as easy as the application gets. I actually prefer using a brush. This Zoeva brush is magical. I hardly ever like using buffing brushes, but this one works so well. One of the reasons that I don't usually apply foundations with a buffing brush is because if they're not very moisturizing, they tend to lift up and accentuate dead skin or dry areas on my skin. But because this is a tinted moisturizer, it is obviously moisturizing and that is not a problem. So I highly recommend using a brush. It stops me from getting my fingers really like dirty as well. Like I don't like having foundation on my fingers. So I'm gonna quickly add a blush. This one is also from Innisfree. It is from the Cherry Blossom collection. And then I'm gonna powder my skin using the EG Lips Barbie Compact. I'm gonna powder half of my face so you guys can see uh, the difference when the powder is applied. But this is what this half looks like when it's powdered. You can see that you still have that really beautiful moisturized looking shine. There is no luminizers, no highlighters on my skin right now versus this side. I prefer with a bit of powder because I feel like this side just looks a little bit too moisturized for my personal liking. However, this side is perfectly fine. And I also got requests to show you guys what it looks like in different forms of lighting. I do not have any studio lights. Haha, <laughs> you think I can afford that? Thank you. <laughs> Very expensive in New Zealand. Um, and I have nowhere to put them. So I just use natural lighting. There's a, two windows opposite. That's why I'm in the corner of my room. You can see shadows, which is yeah annoying, but free lighting is free lighting. So here is it all powdered from a distance. Really beautiful, very moisturized, not much coverage. And here it is up close in the same lighting. You can see again, not a huge amount of coverage. You can see a few little scars. I've got my two little lines here. They look pretty good though, I gotta say. Like they don't look very accentuated. You can barely see them which is great. Around the eyes, we're not accentuating any of those fine lines, which I do have, but they're moisturized, so they don't look so bad. Um, but you can see, obviously, a little scarring, a little dip in the eye bag area here. I am very tired. Um, you can see the freckles across the nose and across here. You can see the scarring on the cheeks, on the upper lip, and this bad boy. We're leaving it as it is. You can see a little bit of that cheek redness that I get as well there and there and of course this is a birthmark I didn't even try and cover it up it's just a different color of skin it's a different melanin level so that is a cafe au lait birthmark it is not a different like you know my whole body is not this color it is just that part there here we are in filtered lighting so this is right beside my window hi but there is a filtered curtain like it's a privacy screen and this is how the skin is looking in this lighting. It's a bit more bright, so you can see a little more clearly. So you can see all of the milia underneath my eye here now. A few blackheads on the nose area. You can see a little bit of the fine lines popping through there. Here's some basic indoor lighting away from an actual window source. So again, I guess because there's more shadows, you can see a little bit more of those fine lines. And then last but not least, we're in my garden. <laughs> um, okay, so this is probably the most unflattering light because I have to kind of like squint. And I really hope I'm in focus because I can't see very well. But this is how we would look in an outdoor area. Try not to squint. Try not to squint. Ah. You can definitely see the fine lines more there and more of the texture. That is it. Yeah, it's very green. Very nice. <laughs> Please let me know what lighting sources you found the most helpful just then, and I will be sure to include them in the other videos. But I'm actually gonna go about my day, and I'm gonna show you a check-in from tomorrow, because it is already one o'clock, past one o'clock in the afternoon. So um, it's the weekend. I had to sleep. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. So here's the tinted moisturizer at about six hours. It's still looking pretty good. And then when I take my glasses off and zoom in a little bit more, you can see that the skin is looking a little bit shiny, but not too bad considering it is a tinted moisturizer. I don't think it's terrible. I have a few little glasses marks, but nothing too dented. They're easily smudged out. And you can still see the little acne scar or the little pimple that I have there, um, but it doesn't look bad at all. So I'm quite happy with this chicken. 
Then at the end of the day, this has been about 12 hours. You can still see that my skin is looking fairly nice. It definitely does look like my skin, but better. There is a bit of shininess on the forehead. Um, you can see it's very reflective. Um, around the eyes is not too bad. Around the nose, you can see the glasses marks. And then around the chin area, you can see like the little redness on my cheeks poking through and also that little pimple on my chin. But overall, I don't think that this is bad at all for a tinted moisturizer. So all in all, I actually really like the tinted moisturizer. However, I do wish it was a little bit more yellow. I can kind of bypass that by adding a yellow toned product. So I have the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tint in um, Hint of Cream, which is fair with golden undertones. So this one is substantially more uh, yellow toned, it's very warm, which I like a lot. However, it is a little bit more on the deeper side, so I find it harder to wear because um, it's a little bit too dark in color. Mixing them works really, really well though. I really like the application. I find it super easy to apply and I think that it looks really nice on the skin. It's very flattering on the fine lines and wrinkles that I have on my skin and it doesn't highlight any dry skin texture, which I absolutely love. Of course, this is a tinted moisturizer. The coverage is very light, so you could add a concealer if you want to. It's probably gonna look a little bit funny if you start concealing and then the rest of your skin has really light coverage, maybe unless you have very good skin in other places and like one pimple. I personally don't care for concealing stuff, really. Um, I don't know, I just don't feel obliged to do it. So I'm totally fine with the light coverage and when you're picking up a tinted moisturizer, of course you should expect light coverage. So we're all fine there. The longevity is what you would expect of a tinted moisturizer. Honestly, it's not that bad though. In comparison to a lot of the other foundations, it holds up just as well. And because it's a tinted moisturizer, I don't really notice the patches wearing off because the difference is less extreme. I did find that it wore off on places that I touched a lot, like my chin. And then I saw like little bits of redness come through like on the sides of the cheeks, which is pretty usual for me as well. All in all, I had a pretty positive experience with this. I do like that it has four colors because they appear slightly deeper like one of them number four looks fairly deep I cannot see any swatches of the fourth shade so I cannot say whether it is actually deep or if it's just kind of just says it's deep so I think that it is nice that it has some kind of color range it would be nice if it had more of a color range but as with most K beauty products they only cater to a very fair small percentage of skin tones which is very frustrating um, even though I am one of the people that they do cater to, which is why I use so many key beauty products because I can find my color. It would be nice if they catered to everybody. So there is that. However, it appears to be vegan and cruelty free, which I really like. That's like great. So if we could have more of that and then more colors, that would be fantastic. <laughs> So this is a product that I'm probably going to be keeping so that I can mix it with the other tinted moisturizer and I might actually make like a little cushion out of them. I think that that would be cute. I still have like that really cute style lander cushion that I can um, reuse. So I'm really excited to do that. If you guys would like a video on how I do that, then please let me know and I will film it while I do it for you as well. But otherwise, I would definitely recommend this if you are looking for a lightweight tinted moisturizer that's not too like greasy looking, I guess. Like a lot of tinted moisturizers can just look like you know, thick, sunscreeny, glossy look, which is not always desirable. I would definitely recommend this one if you do fit into one of those four colors that they offer. Thank you guys so much for watching this review and I will see you in the next one. Bye.